Howdy there, partners. It's Cowboy Loomis. Bring you another reading rodeo. Where I read you a rootinous, tootinous little book for Fornita Siesta. Or you out there on the range and need some girl to listen to or watching the cows. That's what I hear. So, if, so buckle up, partner, because we're going to get right into it. Chris, can you take up my 10 gallon for me? Damn, partner. Let's get right into today's book, which is going to be Tornado Stim and the Magic Cowboy Head. Just like what Cowboy Loomis was wearing. The Cowboy Loomis really does like the blue color on Tornado Sim, so maybe, maybe he'll ask Chris to change the color of his. Maybe, maybe that's what he'll do. But otherwise, just get started, Cowboy Chris. Come on, Chris, it's not that hard. There it goes. This here is the story, a tornado sim. It starts one fine day, as Sim roused himself from an afternoon snooze out here on the country called the Adel Siesta. He had no idea what he was in for. Oh, look. A cowboy wolf. Wait, is that, is that cow wolf? Is it a wolf, wolf book? Cowboy don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Afternoon, partner, said a coyote. Or oh, a coyote, yeah, that makes sense. He's out there on the rest. Afternoon, Slim said wearily. Say, do you could do me a favor? Asked the coyote, I got this letter here for the shield for Fargo City. I deliver myself, but in my wedding day, and I'm late, my fiance will be right short with me. What do you say? Well, Sim stammered, I, uh, well, who gotta help Sim? Who always gotta help out our fellow cowpoke? Just look at him. Just, he got a cool vest on. Who wouldn't cut it? Trust this cow coyote. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, interrupted the coyote. You drive a hard bargain. I admire that. Just say I sweetened the deal, Ben, give you this here hat. It sure is a fine looking hat, said Slim, but I. The coyote quickly pushed the ladder and the hat into Sim's hands. I sure do appreciate it, partner. I used that hat carefully, you hear? Before Slim could say another word, the coyote was off. Seeing as he had nothing better to do, Slim decided to deliver the ladder. That's mighty fine of him. When he finally staggered into a small town hours later, his feet felt ready to fall off. Think I need to... Relax with an ice cold sarsaparilla. There's like an old country opioids for you who don't know. It's super good. What numerous faves. He thought. Then Slim noticed all the commotion. Folks were scrambling about in something. Better hide tail out of here, stranger. The damn bell burst. Oh no. All them cowpokes and fine dances are all wondering what the hell is. Look at this guy. He only wearing a barrel. Slim took off his hat and scratched his head. Then he sighed. All the rotten knock. Water burst into the broken dam. And Slim was right in his path. Oh no! Oh boy, he muttered. Slim closed his eyes and grit his teeth. But after a moment, he realized he was still standing. No, he didn't. He was bone dry. So he opened his eyes. The water was falling right into the hat. Well, it, well look at that. A, a magic cowpoke hat. That, that's super cool. 
them are cheering. We go, partner, you done saved our town. Townsfolk cooked up, feast of smoked ribs, corn to cup, plenty of baked beans, five alarm chili, which means it's extra super spicy, like how Chris likes it. And a great big barrel of sarsaparilla. Sam could have stayed forever eating food and enjoyed all the attention. But then he remembered the letter in his pocket. He set out again for Firegold City. Oh, it sounds so good. By the time he reached the next town, Slim's legs felt ready to come loose. Woo boy, he thought interestingly. Sure could go for a nice cold sarsaparilla. Look at all them fine, fancy toilet mustaches. Now this is proper old timey if you ask Cowboy Dumas. And they even got a spittoon. You, you know what a spittoon is, right? Alright, Cowboy Dumas tell you. A spittoon is like a big old soda pot. But it's still flowers in there. You got a tui in there. If you if we have the icky tobacco stuff. Cowboy Dumas don't say to do it. But old timey, lots of people did it, so. It was sort of alright back then. Continue on, Cowboy Quest. But before he could bless the bar stool, which means it's down, with behind, he heard a shout. Twister! That's that tornado. Everybody began to panic. Everybody except Slim. He had his head. Back in a minute, folks, he said, sauntering outside. Folks shouted, What in days are you doing, stranger? Ruby Blow cleared me sippy. Slim rocked straight toward Tornado and Tail. Whoosh! He spun around and some awful. Faster and higher each time. Dizzy than he'd ever been in his whole life. Slim grabbed the hat off his head. The tornado swirled right into it. Now when saw the ground, Slim put the hat back on. Folks cheered, You saved our town. They feel done to a tornado. Another barbecue was prepared. There were smoked ribs, corn cob, plenty of baked beans, six alarm chili. Now that's extra super spicy. I don't think our boy Chris could handle six alarm. That might be too much. And a great big bell or sarsaparilla. Sim didn't stay too long, though. He had to get to Fire Gold City. That Kyle was counting on him. Look at that feast. Look at all that grub. That looks so good. And all their mighty fine cowboy hats. By the time Slim reached the next town, his whole body fell ready to crumble. But once again, the ice cold Sasparilla would have to wait because... The meat and hogs are on fire, somebody shouted. Hot day, everywhere I go, there's some kind of disaster, thought Sim, as he ran towards the burning building. He held out his hat. This time, all the water from the dam gushed out until the fire was nothing but a few wisps of smoke. Sim could hear the familiar sound of folks chilling. Well, look at that, the hat saved the day again. It so is magic. Then there was a scream. It's Smelly Jim! Everybody was distraught by the fire. Smelly Jim and the band of outlaws had robbed a bank. They were held for the getaway wagon. Halt! shouted Jim. Oh. What is the magic hat going to? Or did they go and suck up them right rowdy bandits? Or you think something else going to happen? I do, Cowboy Noom don't know, but they'll find out. Good day, some stink bandits, and they'll be stopped. He had nearly caught to the bandit when a gust of wind blew the head off his head. The head did a twirl through the air and it right at Smelly Jim's feet. Oh, he looks like Smelly Jim. Just look at him. The clothes are all dirty. His, his cowboy hat isn't even nice and neat. Look at all those notches and stuff in that. I need to keep better treatment of his hat. And his teeth. He got two of them. Can't do more with two teeth. It'll be so hard to do the corn and the cobs. Oh, 
Aïe, aïe, aïe. Hey, oldy partner. Dance to the Mally Jim. As he lowered the hat onto his head, the hat began to triple. I thought I wouldn't do that if I were you. Slim warned him. Oh, what's it gonna do? What gonna do is smell with Jim. Before you could say Sasparilla, the tornado shot out. Smell with Jim and his band of dust were whisked into the air. Round and round and round they went. The cries could barely be heard over the roar of the wind. I'm gonna be sick. I want my mommy. Oh my goodness. I don't think that these bandits are super tough. The hat flew out of the smelly Jim's hand, headed back for Slim. Soon as Slim caught it, the tornado swelled back into it. The street was quiet. Smelly Jim lay face down in the water trough. This, this was where all the horses drank from. Sprawled out around him was the band of outdoors. The town folk cheered as Slim led the bank robbers to jail. Nice to them, partner. You show them. The mayor approached him. How about you like be sheriff of our fine town? He asked. Me? Sheriff? asked him. Sure, I'd be honored. You got your sheriff job, said the mayor. Let's get that barbecue beer out of there, folks. Bert, how about a bunch of this shivering on? Seven of them, Kelly. I don't. Oh. Said my nigga loses half of that because that just gonna be straight fire again. Oh. But how about by just telling you I'm telling yours? We got some celebrating to do. Oh. There's just one thing, said Sim. I have to go to five Goat City first. The mayor gave Sim for a shoot, son. This here is five Goat City, he boomed. Are you kidding, said Sim? I've got a letter here for the sheriff. Well then, said the mayor. I reckon that dear letter is for you. She the only shit we got. Last one left to get married. How do you like that, Slim Dot? That coyote ran me regular for what? To deliver a letter to myself? That would be mighty strange. Why, why would this coyote just tell him to open the letter? Slim opened the letter. Do you see Slim? I know, you're thinking you could just open it up right when I gave it to you. Save yourself the trip. But it wouldn't have worked. You needed all that travel and adventure to get to where you are. Just like I did when I first became sheriff. So congrats on the new job and take good care of that hat. It's been worn by sheriffs for a long time. I'll stop in visit next time I'm in town. I've got some great written pictures to show you. Yours truly. The Coyote. The end. Well, yeah, there was one mighty fine root and toot and rodeo weed in this town ball room just chased over itself. Quick, can I have my 10 gallon back? Damn, partner. Well, this here be cowboy room. Sign off for another rodeo weed to all you cowboys out there who having a siesta or just need a nice find you sitting out there on the great old prairie watching the grass blow as the sun sets over your cows sitting by that stream thinking what a wonderful place to be but that's all for me today hope you all have a nice root and talk in this day and cowboy rooms will see you next time bye